it's important to think about the practical steps that researchers can take towards implementing responsible metrics practices. These might vary depending on your career stage, your discipline, and of course, your own preferences. One of the easiest but most important steps to take is to sign your name to one of the key responsible metrics pledges such as DORA or the Leiden Manifesto. It's important that you don't just sign one of these documents and then move on, but use it as the start of an active commitment to following the principles they lay out. Part of this active commitment is to challenge assumptions around the use of research metrics, especially the assumption that the quality of research is linked to the perceived quality of where the work is published. Instead, you should work to judge research on its own merits, just as you would want others to do with your work. You can do this when reading articles for your own research projects and by challenging the assumptions of colleagues and peers. It's also important that you work to challenge your own assumptions. Think about the last time you assessed a journal title, either when evaluating it or considering it as a place to share your work. Did you look at metrics such as the journal impact factor and how much did this really influence your decision to publish? Next time you're selecting a publisher, think more broadly than its metrics. Consider which title would be the best fit for your research and whether it targets the audience you want to reach. First introduced in the 2014 Research Excellence Framework, impact case studies reflect a move towards assessing the wider impact of research. These are narrative documents which describe the effect that research has had on society such as the economy, culture or influence over public policy. This offers authors a chance to demonstrate the real world impact of their work beyond the numbers. Impact case studies will be worth 25% of the total REF assessment, showing how seriously this wider impact is being taken. Responsible metrics is not about excluding numerical measures completely, but about using them as one of the many tools to showcase impact. To do this effectively, you should keep careful track of your personal metrics to ensure that they're correct. Where it's within your control, select one or two repositories to share your work so that you can easily keep track of citations. Point other online mentions back to those sources so you're able to record accurate numbers. If you don't already have one, then consider investing time in creating an ORCID profile. This offers you a unique identity which can be used to ensure consistent attribution for your work. It's also important to give any numerical measures of impact some added context. For example, a readership of 100 might be low in some disciplines, but high in others. Consider compiling a narrative CV which details both context and any wider impact that the work has had, such as inclusion in the reading list or a positive reaction on social media. Having a document like this ready to go can really help you when it comes to preparing future grant or job applications, as you'll already have the information to hand. These are just a few of the practical steps we can all take towards the responsible use of metrics. Although they're small on their own, they can build into an effective change in the wider research culture as we move towards an open research world.